you see god has set the world in such a way that all men be blessed and this will upset the theology of some people who say god cannot bless unbelievers who said so who said so who said so dan gote who blessed dan gote is this satan satan has no blessing it is still god that blessed dan gote whether dan gote acknowledges him in christ or not the goodness of god is on everybody dan gote just discovered a few rules that makes this planet respond in productivity and has applied them and things are working while you are fasting and leaving everything to god dan gote found a way about getting this natural world to respond and he is applying those things and everything is responding there's no magic about it you are oh, you are praying father 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 even the thing you should do father god said let them have dominion not let us let them what god is saying is i have left the planet for you manage it by finding out how it works and when you find out how it works run the system it will respond you don't need prayer for it am i teaching here you don't need prayer for it believe me you don't need prayer for it if you run it well it will respond praise the lord you know and, and, and because of this prayer team a lot of christians they, they they compromise quality they compromise quality they compromise professional skills in the name of prayer they believe that prayer can replace professional skills so most of the quacks are christians most of the quacks if you want to see quackerism if there's english like that quackerism is among christians quackerism engage an unbeliever in a project he will deliver professionally engage a brother in the church he will use church language brother you know the devil is fighting i am working hard but there are these demons i can't tell where they are coming from they are fighting me from completing the project an unbeliever does not recognize demons so he knows i must deliver on thursday otherwise i will be arrested by police he delivers but the believer knows that if i keep calling demons he can extend the team for me he tells i don't know i had a bad dream last night in the dream they sat on my waist and since that dream everything is not working bro bro please understand i have discovered some of the worst people to engage in the secular are believers it's not because we can't pray it's because we have we have spiritualized natural things you say you are a tailor they give you cloth you cut everything join join everywhere as if ants have ate the cloth and then you are angry that somebody is angry he said you're a shoemaker you make sure that when somebody wear he has to stand like this because the, the toes cannot enter because you didn't measure the size well you should throw for me to wear and come service after I wear the trouser i'm walking like this because if i move like this it will tear so when i'm preaching i just saying the lord bless you you know as i'm saying right now there is anointing here the anointing is too much i can't stand well it's a lie the trouser is <laughs> If I open my leg, it will tear. Service will close. So I have to be limping like a... Like a <laughs> Touch your neighbor say, what you do, do well. We are still teaching prayer. This is serious prayer now. This is real prayer. Because Lombano is an active word. It's not a passive word. So that already explains why some of you are not promoted. It's not because you didn't pray. It's because you have spiritualized something that you shouldn't have spiritualized. God blesses everybody equally. Unbeliever, non-believer. When we go for interview, they don't ask us, are you a Christian or Muslim? They ask for your credentials. Is that true? Exactly. We're traveling one of my drivers we're going to preach and most times that's when i'm able to sleep when we're going to preach on the road i just sleep and because when i get there is fire fireworks i don't so i rest while traveling and i was sleeping i just woke up and i heard him struggling in the bush with the car <laughs> even the car they were struggling me i was sleeping it's not me that was struggling it's him and the car they were struggling even though i was inside but where i was there was no struggle is him and the guy they were you 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 then me i was lying down so i said what is it 
He said, I don't understand. The car is just. <laughs> I said, It's a lie. You slept. <laughs> it's a lie. Don't spiritualize it. You slept. He said, No, the car just is not responsible. I said, It's a lie. Stop that. Tell the truth and be free. You slept. And by the time you woke up, we have entered bush. Then you and the car started fighting. He said, no, sir. I said, okay, get to mechanic. Let's find out what happened to the car. So we got to mechanic. And this mechanic was not even a Christian. I, I could tell from his behavior. I, I told him, come on, mechanic, the, the car entered bush by itself. He said, maybe it's a thyroid. He said, okay, confirm it. The unbeliever entered the car with boldness. Fia, 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 fia. Vroom. He drove the car and drove the car. Did everything with the car. The car is okay. He said, the car is balanced. But if you want, we can lose it. I said, no, don't lose. Enter car. Let's go. Till today, we have used that car for close to one year. They have not touched anything inside. But that day, that day, evil spirit entered the car. We entered bush. The guy slept. But now I wake up, he's spiritualizing everything. I don't know what happened. It's like a demon sat on the leg. So as I'm touching break, the guy is not catching break. See, that's your problem as Christians. We, we spiritualize things that we should deal with physically, applying natural laws. Kefla Dollar said he invited a pilot to come and fly him. And then before flying his jet, he interviewed the pilot. And he said to the pilot, hey pilot, you're, on, you're undergoing an interview right now. I own the aircraft and I want to find out if you can fly me. Let's say for example that um, the, the weather forecast says the weather is not good. And the, the, the trans air, air transport controllers tell us not to fly because the weather is very bad for flying. And then I say to you, we have to go because I must preach. What will you do? He said, I will just speak in tongues and begin to pray and fly you. Creflo said, get out, you're fired. Next. <laughs> Me, the man of God, I didn't speak in tongues. Then you, driver, will speak in tongues. See your head. You want to go and kill yourself. Get out. Next. The brother thought he, has, he will convince the man of God. I said, I just pray in tongues. I didn't hire a pilot to pray in tongues. I hired a pilot to read instruments and read weather and find a way of navigation. That's why you're hired. Praying in tongues is secondary. Your primary assignment is to read instruments and know how to navigate. But now, instead of doing your work, you want to do my work. I am the one praying. I am the pastor. You are the pilot. Do your pilot, I do my prayer. We arrive. So you enter the cockpit and the plane will be going towards the ground. And you're busy speaking in tongues. I'm teaching here. I'm helping a lot of matters here. You go for interview, they say two times two. You say, wait first. Father, in the name of Jesus, what is the answer? <laughs> Everything in this natural world is equally distributed to all of us. Whether you are a Christian or you are not a Christian, all of us have equal access to the blessings of this natural world. See, I hear you. God gave to man. God gave to man dominion. Which man? Man. Unbeliever? Yes. Believer? Yes. Native doctor? Inclusive. Man. He didn't give the planet to Christians. He gave the planet to man. Because he's a good God. That's why you see, wicked people are prospering. Native doctors are prospering. Occultic people are everybody. Because God, God loves everybody. And he wants people to eat and live well. See, I hear. He's not a one-sided God. I'm sure I'm changing a lot of things in your mind right now. He wants everybody to, to live well. He wants everybody to, to, to experience his goodness in the earth. And that's why unbelievers that give themselves to their profession and their skills, they come out with inventions that shake the world. They come out with inventions. How do you beat the technology called the I iPad, iPhone technology? How do you beat that? How do you beat the Facebook idea that has that is shaking the whole world people are using facebook to overthrow countries of nations and yet those ideas didn't come to tongue talkers it came to people who have understood that this natural world i'm here to subdue it so i must find a way to solve the problems of the society they engage their minds in productive reasoning you when you should be reasoning you are doing 12 midnight prayer every day 12 midnight prayer the time you should think and create things you are using it to be praying so you are poor 
As if you are the only one Satan is after. Every night, once it's 12 o'clock, if you fly across this roof, fire, 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 kerosene, shh, petrol, shh, 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 cigarette lighter, fiat, 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 so that fire will be catching. <laughs> it is called prayer. Some of you are looking at me. Is that the way you pray? Every midnight. See, evil spirits are flying around. Where now? Is it only... Are you not ashamed? You, a Christian, cannot sleep. You are busy doing shh. Your neighbor is an unbeliever. He's sleeping. Sound. Sleeping with dream. Snoring the whole house. Because of depth of sleep. You, you are busy shh. And then as he's snoring, you also do shh. <laughs> it's an indictment I'm teaching here if you're hearing me say I hear you when believers are sleeping well you you can't sleep meanwhile God that is watching you does not sleep nor slumber then you yourself that is supposed to be watched over you are not sleeping or slumbering which can life be this Today I'm just trying to bring it practical as much as possible and deal with practical situations so you know how to apply what I'm teaching you. Praise the Lord. Say with me, I am here to rule. I am not here to be ruled. I am here to rule. And I will rule by knowledge. Exactly. Rule by knowledge. Praise God. I say praise God. The Greek word for God set in there is the word berko, B E R C H O. It means to do something permanently. He has set the rain permanently, He has set the sun permanently. It just keeps falling. Now it is man that now sets the order of things. It is man, follow me carefully. It is man that said, Let us have a segment called commerce and industry it is man that say let's establish an institution called agriculture it is man that say let's establish another institution called information all those are man-made system it is not god that say man set up that no it is part of the managerial skill of man to organize segments of productivity in society all that is man man's ideas it's not God because man has to manage the planet let's have a, a, a petroleum department since we have oil wells in the Niger Delta it's not every country that has petroleum department because not every country that has petrol or oil the government of Nigeria have discovered that there are natural resources and honey every nation on the face of the earth has natural resources the earth is the lord and the food so every nation there are food there's fullness in every nation except the people in that nation are brainless as dry as israel yet one of the richest nations in the world they went to a desert with their ingenuity somebody say no israel people are people of god shut up shut your mouth all of us are people of god all of us there's nothing different about the Israeli that you don't have. The same God is rich unto all. There is no difference. What are you talking about? There's no difference. See, you know, Israeli is the, that that mindset is what is cheating you. Because you're thinking like that, and as a man think it. Uh -huh. The Israeli believe that anywhere we enter, we rule. That is their mindset, and it's working for them. So if a believer in Christ will rise up also and believe that anywhere I enter, the moment that mindset comes, it, it gets you in the go. I feel like I'm talking here. I prophesy over you today, you will never be second position anywhere. The Israelites went to a desert. Went to a desert and turned it to wealth. They don't have oil yet. They control oil. They don't have oil in Israel. It's a desert with all this fertile ground we still import food 
so you wonder why some nations are more richer than the others is the brain of the people inside that nation you didn't hear me you are not hearing me is the brain of the people inside that nation dubai rain falls one day a year one day every year rain falls one day some years two three years no rainfall in dubai so since they don't have rainfall they have created a way of having water in dubai they created a sea where ships can 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 go from dubai to other nations it is man-made men are using their brain look i prophesy over all of you hearing the sound of my voice you will be the inventors of africa your amen is standing on one leg you will be the inventors of africa i declare from a quiet bomb here you will be manufacturers you will be manufacturers you will be manufacturers it's from a quiet bomb we shall start exporting in this country we will start exporting from a quiet bomb exporting to other nations i'm teaching here please sit down this is not a matter of prayer it's a matter of men engaging their brain understanding the capacity of the human mind and getting it to work i'm teaching here uh, look it has nothing to do with prayer dangote stood up and said i'm going to deal with cement issues in africa that's a man that didn't pray he just stood up and saw the problem of cement and started dealing with cement problem and he is advancing it from country to country solving cement matters nobody prayed nobody's praying for him to do that he's just engaging his brain you have to bring his church for prayer say prayer request your book the book cannot carry your own pray for my leg that is trying to be old pray for my waist that is wobbling pray for my eyes pray for uh, everything everything pray for pray for everything your prayer request has no end even after we collect you submit you carry another paper and write and say i'm sorry Add the, attach it <laughs> attach it endless prayer points is religion that has caused all these things what did i say religion is wicked is wicked it's a slavery system that denies you the privilege of thinking religion it denies you the privilege of thinking it makes you a zombie it's what they tell you you do you can't think you can't be a person of your own i'm teaching here religion is wicked 